Well, the final race in what has been a wonderfully varied weekend of great racing here at the Goodwood Revival is the Ford Water Trophy, a 10-lap race for production sports cars from 1958 to 1963, and very much in the image of the members meeting races that used to happen when BARC members could come and race at Goodwood, not perhaps in the big international events, but they could race their ordinary road-going sports cars in the members meetings and then drive them home again after the event. It's 10 laps on a track which has been wettened by a shower. It's drying out now. Five seconds to go. Here comes the starter. And down goes the flag. And the front row moves as one. And Charles Morgan hanging fire just a little bit in the red Morgan. And it's Stuart Graham in the middle of the front row who has got the lead. No, he hasn't. Stuart Graham is overwhelmed suddenly. Looks as though he missed the change into second gear. And it's Doug Blaine in the pale blue Morgan who takes the lead. Great start by Barry Sidery Smith from the second row in the MG. B. Barry Sidery Smith is in second place. In third place now, recovering Charles Morgan. And the Mercedes 300 SLS storming up on the inside goes past Charles Morgan. That's Graham Scott coming through from the third row in the Mercedes. So it's Morgan, MGB and Mercedes. And look at the Mercedes going through on the outside. The Mercedes is up to second place already taking a very wide line into the right-hander of St. Mary's, but is still there in the left-hander. So number 12, Graham Scott, in second place, but moving away out in front, it's Doug Blaine. Doug Blaine in the Morgan. Graham Scott in the Mercedes. Charles Morgan in the Morgan in third place. That's the red car. And then Barry Sidery Smith in fourth place. What has happened to Stuart Graham? Well, he is behind Richard Lloyd in uh, the... Healy 100S having made a disastrous start. Richard Lloyd therefore very well up. Richard Lloyd now coming under challenge from uh, the recovering Stuart Graham and the rest of the field all sorting themselves out as they come now down into Woodcock Corner. Doug Blaine from Graham Scott and then Charles Morgan and the Mercedes is way off on the grass, gets back onto the road, he doesn't even lift off. Almost lost the second place, but kept his boot in. That's the completion of lap one of ten. Doug Blaine, the leader, and Graham Scott in second place, but being challenged now by Charles Morgan as they come down into Badgwick for the second time. But the Mercedes, a big, difficult car, but a lot of power swerving around with its swing axle rear suspension. And now Doug Blaine is going to be threatened by the Mercedes, which is getting a run on the Morgan and has the inside line for Ford Water, and Graham Scott takes the lead. Graham Scott, the leader, Doug Blaine demoted to second place, and Charles Morgan now challenging Doug Blaine as well. Look at that Mercedes, left-hand drive, healing through the swoop of the right-hander, and off goes the Healy Silverstone of Chris Behrens, which is buried in the barriers. I think he's all right. Yes, he's out of the car, but he is out of the race. Chris Behrens out, and Chris Morgan. Charles Morgan, I beg his pardon, Charles Morgan coming through on the inside of the Mercedes and taking the lead again. So the Mercedes very quick on the fast bits, but Charles Morgan knows if anybody should know how to handle a Morgan. Nicholas Mark Cook waving past the uh, Graham Scott 300 SLS Mercedes. And Doug Blaine working his way through as well as Don Griffiths works away at the wheel of the Healy Silverstone. And the Mercedes continuing to move its way through, but he's about eight and a half seconds behind uh, Charles Morgan. Charles Morgan looking very comfortable indeed on his eighth of ten laps, despite all that Graham Scott can do. Just lapping Nick Savage's little yellow Alpha Julieta TZ. And Stuart Graham, as always, so smooth and tidy and so quick, and he is starting to catch the Mercedes. The gap uh, was, when they started this ninth lap, about 2.6 seconds. It's very much less than that now. Stuart Graham closing up appreciably as they come down into Woodcock Corner. And 
Graham Scott having to work very hard now. Blue flag for Graham Scott, but he doesn't need that. He knows that Stuart Graham is getting very, very close indeed to him, and now Stuart Graham gets a run on him as they come out of the chicane before the horsepower of the big Mercedes tells, but Stuart Graham is sniffing the chance of a second place now, and he's not going to let up. The leader, meanwhile, on his final lap, and a big sideways moment there for Graham Scott in the big Mercedes. And they've got some more back markers to lap. The back markers keeping out of the way, but this could be Stuart Graham's opportunity. Out of Ford Water, down to St Mary's. Is that AC keeping out of the way? Yes. St Mary's, another MGB to be lapped and Stuart Graham sticking to the back of that Mercedes like glue. He's got Lavent corner, and if he can get ahead at Lavent before the Mercedes can use its power on the long Lavent straight, then he could be well placed on this final lap. Charles Morgan, meanwhile, going down towards the finish as Stuart Graham tries to creep closer. It's going to be difficult for him to get a toe off him down power. There is Charles Morgan in the chicane for the last time. The checkered flag is waiting for him. Another family affair for Charles Morgan, who crosses the start-finish line to win the Ford Water Trophy in his Morgan. And now, what is Stuart Graham going to be able to do? The Mercedes is weaving about. There's Vanessa Finborough's ACS in the way, and I don't think there's anything that Stuart Graham can do. He just waves a little hand in resignation. He tried all he could do, but the Mercedes does get the second place. Graham Scott, absolutely delighted, raises his arm aloft, and Stuart Graham has to be satisfied with third place. Well, Charlie Morgan's victory rounds off our action and brings this trip down motorsports memory lane to a close.